What's going on guys? It's your boy Seeing Matic here back at it again for another video. I just want to talk about one video game that's upcoming that it's from the creators who make Gravity Rush, Silent Hill, and Siren. I'm pretty sure you guys know about it. This game I, I have no idea what's going on with it. I have no clue from seeing like the gameplay trailers. They just revealed a story trailer that just came out during the Tokyo Game Show. I just have no idea what's going on but before i even bring up that game please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel i will highly appreciate it now this game that we're talking about was first revealed in 2021 during the game awards it's called slitherhead now mind you this game is being developed from x team japan studios members the main one being the mastermind behind gravity rush silent hills and siren franchises Kichiro Toyama. He opened a new gaming studio called Bokai Game Studios and now Slitherhead will be the first game that they are developing under this new studio. Now from what I've been seeing as far as gameplay and other trailers of this game, this game, I don't know, it, it, it looks interesting to say the least, but at the same time it definitely gives off that like classic horror PS2 title vibes. I don't know if that's what they're reaching for but if they are reaching for that then they did a really good job but at the same time i really have no idea what the hell is going on with this game besides like the game being an action horror title where you get to switch spirits and you're fighting off different variants of monsters these monsters i believe are called slitterheads so according to this source on games radar they summed it up as ketchiro describing the gameplay and story as in terms of Slitherhead's story, the game is set during the early 90s in a fictional town in East Asia called Kaolong. Chaos ensures when mysterious creatures appear and start hunting humans. It's up to you, the people of the city, to fight back, which leads us to the coolest gameplay reveal in Slitherhead, the Possession System. The main character in Slitherhead is a spiritual life form without a physical body. So as you can probably guess, you'll have to jump into the bodies of the city's residents in order to act against the evil stalking its streets. You will be able to change from one host to another. This means that you can travel through the city at lightning speed as well as leaving bodies behind as you prioritize your own survival. This new mechanic will force you to change your conventional movement patterns to match the game speed and take down tanky enemies in a new creative way. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I, I don't know how I feel about this game. Like, it kind of sounds good on paper, but adapting that idea onto like an actual game, it kind of sounds a little weird to be honest. I, I don't know, that's just me. Like, some of the gameplay trailers look really cool, but at the same time, like looking at it, it's like when comparing it to like the other titles that Mr. Ketchio has worked on is like I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I'm not sure. Like I kind of I kind of fuck with like the kind of like the horror vibes, the Japanese horror vibes, and everything like that. Like it kind of reminds me of like Tokyo Ghoul or like Parasite or like Home Sweet Home, things like that. You know, like it, it kind of reminds me of those vibes. But at the same time, from my understanding, from watching the gameplay trailers. It just, it just kind of seems that the combat seems a little to have its own style of parries, dodging mechanics, and striking. And it seems like everybody that you transfer into will have their own weapons and abilities while fighting these so-called slitterheads. But overall, like, again, as I'm saying, I'm repeating myself, but as I'm saying again, I just, I don't know how I feel about this game. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, to me, it, it's just, it looks good. But at the same time, it looks a little like it doesn't look that good. Like it, it, it looks a little too. It looks like something that would be good, like probably like 20 years ago. <laughs> it looked like something that would be good probably like 20 years ago, or 15 years ago, or something like that. Like on the Xbox 360 or PS2. Like I said earlier in the video, this game gives like a lot of PS2 horror type S vibes and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's just me personally. I know people probably looking at this and they're like, oh, it gives me these type of vibes and all this other stuff. Like, I think I'm going to pick it up. But me, I'm going to wait until the game gets on sale. This game, personally, I feel like this game is probably should be at least $20. <laughs> at least $20 to $30. At least. 
Because I'm not paying $70 for this game. There's no damn way I'm paying $70 for this game. There's just no way. Or s at least $40 at most. $40 at most. But other than that, if you're charging me $60 to $70 for this game, I'm not picking it up. We're going to have to see like the reviews. We're going to have to see all of that to see if this game is actually good. If it's going to live up to the hype. You know, because this guy hasn't worked on a game since like Gravity Rush or whatever. Like it's been a long time since he's actually worked on the title because Team Japan is gone. So now it's like he's working on this title and coming from that title to like this title, Slitherhead is like, okay, like now he's kind of like putting his own ideas into this game. Now he kind of has like his freedom of, you know, he kind of has his freedom of expression to kind of finally make this horror franchise that he can probably, you know, make a, you know, make money out of, like, you know what I'm saying? But it just doesn't give off the same vibes as like Silent Hills or like something that he made previously. Like a lot of people are seeing in the comments of like, you know, the gameplay trails and stuff like that. They're like, damn, I thought this game would kind of be like some type of like Silent Hill type of game, but no, it's like some action based game, which they don't know how they feel about that. Like, you know? But at the same time, I'm kind of scared that the game is not going to sell that well. And it's going to be another underappreciated slash underrated title, just like how Gravity Rush was. Especially for Kichiro to open Bokai Game Studios and this being his first game as a failure. It's not going to have a good look on him. You know, technically, Bokai Game Studios is an indie developer since there's not no massive AAA or even AA studio helping alongside with the development of this game. And it's also being published by Marvelous, who they publish games like Samurai Kagura, No More Heroes, and even more. But I'm not sure what to expect from this game. I mean, like I said, we'll see when the game releases. We will see how it does in terms of reviews. And the game does release this year. It releases November 8th. So look forward to that. On other hand, please remember to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Will you be picking up this game? Do you think this game looks interesting or anything like that? But other than that, like I said, support me. And I'll see you guys on the next video.